When it comes to powder coating and e-coating, you'll sometimes be required to mask off areas of a part before coating it. The issue here is that when you need a custom silicone mask, it can take weeks or even months to get a part in hand to actually try out. So in this video, I'm going to take you through what validating a new custom masking design looks like from start to finish with our newest rapid prototyping system here at Echo. Once we know what needs to be masked off, our engineers start off by developing a masking design for that specific application. Once approved, they'll then move on to developing a compression mold design. Once completed, we'll move on to developing the mold for the mask. After finishing the mold, we preheat the press and mold before compression molding the part. To make the demolding process easier, we add mold release and then we add the uncured silicone gum to the mold's cavities. Now the compression molding actually begins. The process is dependent on the size of the parts being made. Most custom masking solutions will take typically 5 to 15 minutes. Once the silicone is cured, the parts are taken out of the mold and the flash is removed. Now that the parts are complete, before applying the mask, you need to ensure that the parts are appropriately cleaned, or any oils or contaminants will ruin the finish. Wear gloves, or else the oils from your hands will transfer to the metal surface. Now you'll want to apply the mask and ensure it's easy enough to install without causing your manufacturing line any issues. You're now able to start the powder coating process. Use this time to also ensure that the mask doesn't interfere with how the paint will be applied. Once completed, you'll move on to baking the part. The silicone mask uses production grade silicone that can withstand up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. The final step will be removing the mask and inspecting the part to see if there was any leakage or any other cosmetic flaws that wouldn't pass quality inspection. And that's how our new rapid prototyping system works. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to reach out to us anytime or leave a comment below. We hope you enjoyed this content and we'll see you all next time.